welcome to my channel this is dr lavanya ramadugu today the entire world is stuck up with the pandemic called the corona everyone is giving you abundant of information regarding what to do and what not to do today i'll be discussing about what to do and what not to do in pregnant women and when to seek medical care what is actually coronavirus it's it belongs to a group of family called as corona which can cause mild respiratory tract infection to severe infections like pneumonia well we have been hearing about this a lot nowadays before proceeding further let me congratulate all the pregnant women a very good luck and it's time to celebrate not to worry but with precautions so let's get into the details what to be done what not to be done during pregnancy as we have all heard from the pm speech the first and foremost thing which is to be done by every human being whether she is pregnant or not is to stay indoors maintain social distance distancing and avoid all the crowded places religious gatherings and social gatherings like weddings and other ceremonies and stay calm sit at home and meditate this will be good for both you and your baby and do not attend any religious places instead stay at home and pray consume a lot of nutritious food which is rich in nutrients a lot of green leafy vegetables fruits and vegetables avoid restaurants have food at home cook your own food in a very hygienic way and stay hydrated and have good ventilation keep the windows and doors open practice hygiene by repeatedly washing your hands before consumption of food and before touching anything and avoid touching your face and nose and uh, use adequate amount of sanitizers and ha- hand washers avoid public transport well i guess you must be bored listening to these information repeatedly and uh, you must be getting these information repeatedly through your whatsapp facebook everywhere everywhere on the social media television but uh, with respect to pregnant women what is special about these pregnant women are they at high risk compared to the other population yes they are at high risk because the immunity levels are very low compared to the normal adult person because these immunity this is a physiological change of pregnancy to combat with the immunological defense mechanism so that the fetus survives in the pregnant uterus hence the immunity levels are low and there are high risk of infection in these particular women so what are all the symptoms which are related to a uh, pregnancy where you have to seek medical care and what are all the symptoms related to corona when you have to seek medical care and what exactly is to be done are the things which we will be looking into further while uh, the prime minister of our country has given a message of social distancing and the janta curfew you must all be confused what about my antenatal visits should i visit my obstetrician or no well let me clarify So if you recently had your antenatal visit you need not take the risk of contracting infection by visiting the clinic or the hospital instead you can call your obstetrician on phone or drop down a mail regarding your next appointment and do as the obstetrician advises you avoid unnecessary travel to the clinic and the risk of contracting infection fine that's okay about the antenatal visits then what are those emergency situations where you should visit your obstetrician no matter what conditions like hyperemesis gravidarum where you are having at least 10 episodes of vomiting each day and you're not able to consume any amount of food and uh, you feel dehydrated you feel lack of energy and the vomitings are not controlled by your oral medication These are all the situations where you should visit your obstetrician so that an inpatient care is given by giving you IV fluids and other medications to counteract this hyperemesis. 
and if you notice any kind of bleeding per vagina which is bright in uh, bright red in color you visit your obstetrician and if you note leaking of amniotic fluid or you have severe pain in the abdomen and the back which is radiating along your legs uh, similar to the uh, and uh, it appears to be labor pains you have to visit your obstetrician and uh, the next important scenario where you should seek obstetrician's uh, advice and care is where you perceive decreased fetal movements or absent fetal movements. This is when you have to re report to your obstetrician immediately. Well, that was about your antenatal visits and the emergency situations during your antenatal period where you have to seek the obstetrician's care. Let me tell you about what are the symptoms of coronavirus when you have to suspect that you might have coronavirus infection and seek medical care. When you notice you have sore throat or dry cough or mild fever, you have to think about corona and have self quarantine contact your doctor on phone and seek advice and if the fever is not subsiding after taking paracetamol for three days and you have been taking care of yourself you have self quarantine and still there is no improvement then seek medical care immediately here the management is a multidisciplinary approach where you are taken care of by an obstetrician a physician a pulmonologist and a team of doctors who will look into it there are special uh, hospitals which are designated for treating the corona infected patients please contact the helpline numbers which are given in various websites and stay updated by visiting the WHO website frequently while uh, these are the things which you take care of yourself most of us are worried about what about the baby what if I contract corona will there be infection to the baby these are all the questions which must be running in your mind like uh, there are various studies which have been done so far in China and the UK and the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists has released a set of guidelines and the studies which state that the risk of vertical transmission that is the transplacental transfer of infection from the mother to the fetus has not been noted and there is no risk of vertical transmission and uh, there are of course two cases reported where there is no clarity regarding whether the infection was acquired in utero or soon after the delivery. We have passed through all these stages of antenatal period. Now it's time for labor. So what do we have to do? Yes, you can stay at home during your early phase of labor, but keep your obstetrician informed regarding this and as and when necessary, reach the hospital. And here, you are supposed to use a private transportation, never use public transportation and keep the number of attendants uh, accompanying you to the minimum. Avoid getting children to the hospital and make sure the hospital where you are reaching is equipped with all the facilities like electronic fetal monitoring, adequate amount of oxygen supply and the number of attending staff entering the labor room should be kept to the minimum possible. As of now, uh, there is no specific uh, route of delivery which is to be chosen over the other because of the suspected corona infection it depends only on your obstetric situation well congratulations on your delivery now what are the precautions to be taken during breastfeeding? The question which might be running in your mind right now is can I breastfeed my baby? Yes, at the moment there is no evidence that the virus can be carried in breast milk. So it is felt that well recognized benefits of breastfeeding outweigh any potential risks of transmission of coronavirus through the breast milk. Wash your hands before touching your baby, breast pump or bottles. Try to avoid coughing or sneezing on your baby while feeding at the breast. Consider wearing a face mask while breastfeeding if available.
and these are the precautions which you are supposed to take while breastfeeding your baby thank you for your patient hearing and watching this instructions please like share and subscribe to the channel